Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Honorable Vinay Thomalopoli, Executive Director of Select USA. Good evening. It's my honor to introduce senior advisor to President Barack Obama, Ms. Valerie Jarrett. Ms. Jarrett has been a strong supporter of Select USA from the very beginning. She made that very clear in the 2013 inaugural summit, and we are thrilled to have her back today. Ms. Jarrett oversees the offices of public engagement and intergovernmental affairs, and chairs the White House Council on Women and Girls. Prior to joining the administration, she was chief executive officer of the Habitat Company. She knows business, and she's well acquainted with economic development issues. Ms. Jarrett has held positions in both the public and private sector including being the chair of the Chicago Transit Board, the commissioner of planning and development for the city of Chicago, and deputy chief of staff for Mayor Richard Daley. She has practiced law with two private firms. Ms. Jarrett also served as a director of corporate and for nonprofit boards, including Chair of the Board of Chicago Stock Exchange, Director of the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago, and the Chair of the University of Chicago Medical Center Board of Trustees. What a background. We're delighted to have Ms. Valerie Jarrett. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Jarrett. Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is a pleasure for me to be here. Vinay, thank you for that kind introduction and for all of the enthusiasm and passion that you have devoted to organizing this terrific summit, our second one. We said last year when we were oversubscribed that we were going to see if we could expand it a little bit, and we've doubled it, and we're still oversubscribed. So thank you all for being here. As hopefully we have made it abundantly clear to you today, there is no better place in the world to invest than the United States of America. President Obama, Secretary Pritzker, Vinay, the terrific team at Commerce, and representatives from throughout the federal government joined more robustly this year with representatives from state and local government, all together aimed to do everything possible to make the United States an even more attractive place for you all to do business. Today, you've heard from a range of stakeholders, and the overriding theme was clear. There is truly no better time to invest in the United States than right now. Some of the world's leading CEOs spoke to you this morning about why the United States is the world's most competitive destination for investment, with a renaissance in manufacturing and our economy coming back stronger than ever. Our panel discussions dove very deeply into issues from locating and integrating supply chain and discussing opportunities for connecting with innovative U.S. companies and suppliers to better access resources and programs and case studies. And you've had the opportunity to hear from some of the world's leading experts in tax who provided their insight in the U.S. tax requirements and how investors should incorporate tax planning and considerations into their investment decisions. And you've heard about the array of opportunities to invest in rural America just now from Secretary Vilsack and the panel that preceded me through programs such as Made in Rural America Exports and Investment Initiatives and the Rural Infrastructure Opportunity Fund. And of course, earlier you also heard from my boss, President Obama, 
who announced his decision to expand Select USA even further through new partnerships with state and local governments, their economic development organizations, enhancing our online tools, which we have also expanded this year, where hopefully you're taking advantage of networking opportunities online, and also a pilot training program, which we're launching. Because the fact is, the world, as we all know, is getting smaller, and competition in the global economy is heating up, and we're not going to be resting on our laurels. We want to be on the front end of that competition. And as was evidenced by the scope of issues covered today alone, the factors that business leaders and investors and governments must take into consideration if they want to navigate and succeed are growing far more complex with each passing day. So all in all, we think it's been a very productive first day, but we still have one more day to go. Tomorrow, you're going to be drilling down on issues uh, such as workforce training, building stronger platforms for exports, and protecting your intellectual property and assets. We intend to help you address all of these challenges. As a result of the summit, we hope that we both, um, our colleagues in government and our entrepreneurs and corporate leaders from around the world, our ambassadors who are here with us this time for the first time in force, all joining us will have gained new relationships and strategies for how we can better work together to ensure that the United States is as hospitable as possible for businesses here and around the world. Our hope is that when you leave the summit tomorrow, uh, you will not only have valuable information uh, that you've gathered since you were here, but also a firm sense as to how from President Obama on down, his entire team were here to listen, we're here to engage, and we're here to work very aggressively to help you invest in America. We understand how tightly our destinies are inter intertwined because if you succeed, America succeeds. So in closing, I would want to just say to you, as the President said when he was here, please remember when you go back home, we are the ones that are open for business. We are the ones that are going to do everything within our power, both at the federal and state and local level, to make it easier, smoother, more predictable, more certain, streamline all the words that we know are so important to you to give you the certainty you need to choose America. So thank you very much for your attention here today, and we look forward to tomorrow. Good evening, everybody. Thank you, Valerie, for uh, those wonderful uh, remarks. Um, I know you've heard so many speeches today, and I promise to keep my remarks as brief as possible, but I have to share a few things with you today. Uh, for the investors who are here from all over the world, thank you for believing in the market in the United States and growing your business. For the economic development organizations, government officials, and many others, thank you for the effort you devote day in and day out in building our communities and assisting businesses to find what they need to be successful. I'd like to, it's very important, I'd like to thank the sponsors for today's event, today and tomorrow's event, starting with our diamond sponsors, which includes ANZ Pharmaceutical, Ernest & Young, Jobs Ohio, the Puerto Rico Industrial Development Company, and Team Texas. Platinum sponsors include JP Morgan and KPMG. We're also fortunate to have Deloitte as a gold sponsor. Our silver sponsors include the Michigan Economic Development Corporation, OCO Global, O Melbourne and Myers, Orlando Economic Development Commission, PWC, the State of Connecticut Department of Economic and Community Development, and the State of Georgia Department of Economic Development. Bronze sponsors include Evitas Group, Deutsche Messe, the organizers of Hanover Messe, Fragomen Worldwide, State Book International, the Turkic American Chamber of Commerce, the State of Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, and finally, thanks to American Electric Power for sponsoring mobile charging stations 
that was very important for several of you today. I know you're running low on battery. I'd like to recognize uh, the joint effort that Select USA has conducted with CII, Council of Indian Industries. Together, we have launched a state resource book. This is a handy publication. Um, it's titled Investment Tools, and it is essentially talks about every single state in the United States, what incentives this particular uh, uh, you know, uh, market has for you. So there are copies, and I was told that uh, there are, uh, these are no cost to you, um, and you can pick up the copies, and if you miss it, you can find it online. What a great day we've had. Thank you so much. It was such an honor for me to join you all in today's sessions. I know I've learned so much listening to the perspectives of our speakers and talking with many of you today. This morning, Secretary Penny Pritzker discussed how Select USA can assist you, and I hope you'll keep us in mind today, tomorrow, and as we move forward. Please consider us standing by, ready to help you find the answers you need at every turn. We also heard from Mr. Jeff Sines, who's the director of the National Economic Council, that was the opening uh, plenary, and a phenomenal panel of executives uh, discussing the resurgent U.S. economy. It's clear that this is the right time to invest in the United States. We also heard from the incredible opportunities of innovation. We learned more about why international companies spend $48 billion a year on research and development in a single year. We attended breakout sessions with impressive speakers like Kentucky Governor Steve Bashir, Mike McNamara of Flextronics, and many others. We discussed supply chains and advanced manufacturing tax policy, advanced manufacturing and tax policy. Always, that's a, always a hot topic, tax. Success for small businesses, resources for startups, opportunities to innovate together with American universities, and last but not least, the new energy economy. And of course, we just heard very, just very recently from Secretary Tom Vilsack and Governor Susana Martinez on investing in rural America. The topics we covered today are incredibly diverse, and there is a reason for that. The United States is vast, 50 states and territories is full of diversity. It's one of our strongest suits, our strongest strengths, our greatest strengths, I should say. But it's not just about American diversity, it's about all of our diversity. Everybody who is in the audience here and those who are watching us. And there are companies here of all sizes, 60% of the businesses who are here today for the conference fall into the SME category, small and medium enterprises. That was quite a thing for me to learn. I can tell you from firsthand experience that the opportunities are out there for you. Regardless of the size of your home country, you can find the market, the people, and the place that you need to be successful here in the United States. Select USA is ready to be your partner as you search for those opportunities. Today is not over. I hope you'll join us for a special reception on the exhibit hall floor immediately after I stop talking. You can enjoy the sunset over the harbor and unwind a little bit and sort of soak it in. And then we will see you all tomorrow bright and early for a full day starting with Commerce Deputy Secretary Bruce Andrews, and Secretary of the Treasury, Mr. Jack Liu. Please don't be late. And that soon after that, what we'll be, what we'll be following is a uh, lively discussion, an excellent discussion we expect from Michelin, BMW, Wanda, Nestle, Samsung, the Strauss Group, Morgan Stanley, and many more throughout the day. So once again, 
Thank you for your participation. Thank you for making this the most successful Select USA Summit yet. Good evening.